you know, the Devils, you know, I think they opened some eyes in the first round when they came, oh, yeah. you know, down two games to the New York Rangers. They show up at MSG and they make it a series. Game three, kind of similar, right? They come out in game three against the Hurricanes, get a big win. A lot of their stars show up on the score sheet. Game four, a bit of a different story. What did you guys see from the Devils last night? Um, I saw a team that came out good. They looked, yeah. they looked got good. Got the early lead. Yeah, they got the early lead. Um, I, I guess to summarize it, it I, I saw a team that's been through the grind before and knows how to manage emotions and kind of not try to do too much. And then Marty Natchez, first period, at the end of the first period, that goal was huge. Huge goal. Huge, huge goal. goal. Second period starts, different ball game. Yeah. And then it started snowballing for the Devils. And, um, you know, there, there's a play in particular. And, um, you know, I'll just do this. Keep an eye on Jack Hughes. Uh, there's going to be a play here. Just he's down. If we could bring it back to the top even. He, he ends up just... I, that doing a drive-by there, he's running all over the place, and I'm, I'm going to give him some love after this because I don't want to. I don't like that I'm picking on him here. It's a three-one game, and he's chasing the puck up, goes out in the neutral zone, and the guy that he's kind of covering there in Chatfield is one that ends up getting that next shot, and then yes, we're fast, ends up getting it, um, and uh, so we'll get a look right here. So look at him right low part of the screen. So he goes a little drive-by there. Chatfield shoots the puck, and now this puck kind of comes around, and Chatfield jumps in here, and Jack's. You know, he went for that big skate. So now he's coming in here, and he's just circling everywhere. And if he just picked a spot to stop, if he stopped in front, he would have been there with Foss. If he would have stopped up top, Chatfield wouldn't have gotten the second shot. And my point I want to make in this is, as much as we saw a Carolina team that understood that just be patient. It's about the process. I feel like this Devils team, and he's just the poster boy, unfortunately, in this yeah. video, that – it was the 3-1 game, and you tried to right the ship in one shift. Yeah. And there's a half a game left, and it just wasn't the right time. I will say this, though. I want to make sure I say this. Jack Hughes is a gamer. I, well, everything I'm seeing from him in these playoffs, he's found another level. I love what he does. If there's a player that should be looking for offense and finding ways to use his brain for you, it's right there. But that wasn't the right time. And I feel like that's what the devil started doing in that game. They started creating more problems for themselves because themselves, they tried to – you're not going to win or get back into a game on – we, we heard Matias Ekholm say that in, their, in his post game too. Like, uh, you, you can't just, – just stay in the course, yeah. right? Do what's right in that moment. You have time. Uh, the devil's inexperience, I think, got the best of them last night. You know what's so funny when I watch that video? I think back to – I think it was game four at Madison Square Garden. Early in the game, Jack Hughes got a breakaway. It was very similar circumstances. Yeah. Now, the scoreless at the time, so different scenario, right? And, but, the, but the puck was laying in the crease. Siegenthaler just batted it out. I think I did a tape on it that Jack Hughes, the Devils are always going. They're yeah. always going. And so he took off. And in that particular case, Siegenthaler just lofted it up in the air. Jack Hughes was gone, breakaway, he scores. Everybody's happy, right? In this case, they, it's, it's one of those plays, and that, to your point, like, you, those are the risks that are hard and to take I'm okay in the playoffs. A, and I'm okay at a certain time of the game. Yeah. If you're down 3-1 with five minutes left in the game, yeah. that's fine. There's half a game here, yeah. and you're an explosive team that is coming off a really good game. Yeah. You had a good first period. It's just not the right time, and... It doesn't stop there with him. I just used that clip. Yeah. Uh, it, this, I think that their inexperience yeah. was evident. What did Lindy say game. after the game? He was really disappointed. He was like the disappointed parent, like really disappointed about you know, because and he was because he knows that what they're capable they're of. Capable he's been, of. Yeah. And he's been so impressed with what they've done for him this year, but he said some guys went rogue. <laughs> you know, yeah. which was I mean that's a statement by a coach. Like you know, some guys went rogue and this, they didn't do what they normally do. Learning experience for a team that is going to be together for a while yeah. moving forward and is going to have a great chance to be one of the top teams in this league for a while. So, got to learn from it.